Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Final Blade. But, before we actually get into this, this is a voiceover of this fucking video, just because thanks to OBS not actually popping up my audio before I actually started this video, we are behind. But, as you can see here, I'm showing off all my characters. These are pretty much everything I've pretty much finished um got her the max well this is gonna be fun trying to catch up with this but we're gonna be doing some summons in this video uh first things first i think i go into enhance Ah, uh, no i think i'll show you guys where i am on like stages whenever i decide to go in you know <laughs> but jesus christ i hate that obs just basically screwed me over in this video like, I went through so much of, like, important stuff, talking about important things. <sighs> I hate my life. But, yeah, nothing I can really do about it. But I start the stage 10 right, right about here. We're going to go do our item summons that we got from our uh, inbox. But that's the crap I got. But if anything, I start the stage 10, lastly. Uh, we're about to get into the actual summons here. I summoned on this banner for some reason. I don't know why. I guess I was just passively going into it. But I don't really care about Shadow, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm basically just getting resources at this point because you don't really need to care too much about it, to be honest. Um, I also said in this video that this game is extremely similar to Chaos Chronicle. Like, it has a little bit of Dragon Blaze in it, but it is extremely closer to Chaos Chronicles. If you guys have ever played it, you guys will know what, exactly what I'm talking about, and you can easily get into it, like, simply. That's the only reason I'm able to get into it, just because it's... I played Chaos Chronicles, and I actually enjoyed it quite a lot before it shut down. So... Yeah... Rip Chaos Chronicle. It was actually a really good game. I had to buy some extra slots here. Well, I didn't have to. I just did. Yeah, that thing. I don't even know what the fuck that thing is, but I like the design of it. I like the whole shrines on his back and everything. I like the little dolls inside there. I mean, it looks weird face-wise, but the rest of the design is actually pretty neat. And I am full here, so I was just basically like, fuck it, let's go out and see if I can find some extra stuff around there. My gold also disappears during all this, so yeah. Enjoy that fancy one mil gold before it disappears past self. <laughs> I know I probably sound like really weird doing voices over this video. Normally something I don't want to do, but OBS basically fucked me over, so... Yeah, like I said, right now I'm focusing on my tank just because I want her to live since she has, like, taunt on her. So, what I say, say here is you basically want to use your four stars, if anything, just because you definitely want to use your four stars for your six stars. Just because that's the better, like, example of doing this. Because in Chaos Chronicle, the exact same, like, enhancing system is in this game. And that's normally what everybody did. That's normally what I did too, from like experience. So I'm basically just using my experience I learned from that game over to this. Leveling up my healer just because we need a lot more heals. Now that we have a tank and healer, that is actually keeping our team pretty decent and alive. As for five stars, you want to use either your three to two stars on them. Just because if you fail, you get a failure enhance to where it enhances your next success or chance of success, which is actually pretty nice. To be honest, this is the most free to play game to play just because just auto farming, you can get pretty much currency, especially if you have the little Fox fairy that gathers everything automatically, which is extremely helpful. But I also said in this video that they should add, like, a little bit of, like, auto-selling to that thing. 
to where you could push on the icon on like the home menu. Uh, I think we'll go back to it. You see that uh, right below my name? Or you'll see the symbol if you ever use like the box. But yeah. They definitely should add like a auto sell system to that fox for sure for like when we're farming. Like if we get crappy gear we don't want or need, it'll auto sell it. Or if we get allies that we don't need or don't want, it'll auto sell it. That would actually be perfect because that also is in Dragon Blaze and that works out extremely well for players. Uh, I'm pointing at it right now. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing I got to that point in the video. <laughs> But, yeah, that it would be extremely helpful towards, like, a lot of the players. Just, like, a little bit of life enhancement. So, here's my other two summons. I think my special self opts out of this, thinking that I won't have enough for one more summon. Yeah, no, no six stars in this video. Yep, there I go. <laughs> Just completely forgetting about it. I was just like, oh well. I, I went out to go check and see if I got missions for it. But no, I didn't. Yeah, I'm just talking about that. My I summoned on that banner instead of that one. <laughs> it's not really all that crucial. You still get the same things either way. It's just like one character is increased. Now I'm going to get behind here. Get my next six star. Then I'll probably use his food. But I'm going to probably use that as food later. In this video, I wanted to climb tower. But I guess that dream was crushed. I got through, like, quite a bit of tower, to be honest, in this video, unfortunately. And right here, I'm telling you guys, you want to enhance your skills here. Just because it makes the characters way more useful. Make sure to level up your skills just to keep them up to date. That is very crucial. You might think it's not, but it is. Just because it increases the chances of a skill or something proccing. Which does more damage. Um, I also say the best formation inside of this game would probably be the very first one. Because, newsflash, if you haven't realized, evasion is high as hell in this game. And you, you're going to need to counter it. Because if evasion missing all that good damage is troublesome. But later on, as you get better gears, I don't I think the less you have to worry about it than the next formations I would personally say would be attack speed, maybe. Or maybe I, I wouldn't say life steal unless you have like a full DPS team, but at the moment is the very first one you start with that you want to enhance and keep up to date until then. Yeah, I'll go and I just start going around like everywhere. <laughs> uh, all right, I think around this point I'm gonna skip to my last summon, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do the whole code thing where you get your email and stuff like that, where you want to put your code code in because they have it on their Facebook website. I'm gonna try to remember to how I'm gonna try to remember to put the like link to it inside the description if i don't remind me and i'll grab it then i'll throw it in there so yeah let's go ahead and skip over to that oh yeah i almost forgot that i did raid boss in this too showing it off and showing how it works for like newer players it's actually very interesting for most other games look at myself searching for it <laughs> But Weary Boss is actually pretty interesting. Yeah, it only had like 20 minutes left, but we were actually able to do it just because it's just, well, 20. But for Raid, for Raid Boss, the reason it's different from any other game is just because you would have to like change different platforms. And it's actually annoying because it's basically RNG of what this freaking annoying boss does. So there are two different type of flames. There's that flame that just does damage over time and that's it. It does a lot of damage too, so don't sit in it. You want to keep changing different areas. 
but that fire right there does a crap ton of damage, but it also keeps your characters from attacking. Like, you saw my characters just froze there for a second and just stopped their animations. That fire right there is something you really want to avoid and don't want to be in. I don't know why this time he wanted to be a complete douche and just cancel all of my platforms out with this fire, but he's a jerk for it. He wanted to be that guy in this fight who does that. And also, that red fire does not disappear for the rest of the battle. So I'm stuck on one more platform with that fire there, able to kill it. I hate this boss. <laughs> That's all you need to know. I hate this boss. But pretty unique for like boss raid just because you can't look away. You have to actually pay attention and actually have to fight the boss, which is actually pretty neat. Those are all my rewards. Those are the stages, stage rewards. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to my last summon like I was going to do. This is BS. All right. Here is my last summon before we actually talk about the whole coding thing. Well, not coding, uh, promotional code that you get from your email. You want to check your email that you uh, had registered for. And it is in your spam box. Or it should be in your spam box. For me, it was in a different language. And for some reason, it was invisible, but the code was there. I know it's going to look suspicious, but it's actually not. It's just, just copy the code and just throw it into the site that I give you. It's not really all that good of a selector. Well, I just spoiled it. <laughs> it's not really a, a good of a reward. It's just a five-star selector of, like, I think five to four units. So, yeah, you got to choose one of them. Either way it goes, the unit's going to become fodder. <laughs> so, yeah. I will, oh yeah, I was like, no, my gold here. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the actual game now. <sighs> Be right back. Okay, so once you go into your email, well, yeah, grab one. Of, it's in one of these. Only once per account, by the way. So if somebody posts like a spare, you, you can't use it. So don't even think about it. So once you get here, you push this link. It sends you to the page. Then what you do now is you do a good old thing called pick your server you're on. Type in your in-game name. Verify it. Your account should pop up. Then you just put your code in. Then you just push redeem. And then I already pushed redeem and I already claimed it inside of that video. And yeah, we all know what happened through there. And Jesus Christ, okay. I started back up the game and it's doing that but yeah but yeah so far I could definitely praise them for fixing some of the issues like the whole stable connection you guys were talking about the whole force closing crashing freezing stuff like that even though I got a few freezing issues now and then but that was when it was going into maintenance around this damn time I was just about to start farming my black market then it it froze in the middle of it. It went in maintenance in the middle of it. And I'm just sitting here like, I just lost my ticket. I just lost all that precious gold. I'm going to fight somebody. <laughs> but hey, nah, yeah, it'll be fine. There's always another day. Uh, there was a redownloading patch bug, which I did not know that was a thing. Mostly just because I'm using emulator, not Android right now. So yeah, that was the thing. They also fixed something else. Okay, never mind. They did like an adjustment. They did some like rebalancing. They adjusted tower. They uh, adjusted a lot of rewards, to be honest. But yeah, they also have like some cool stuff. But anywho, that's, that's all pretty much what I got for at the start of the game. Yeah, pretty decent changes. Overall, let's go back into the game. But, yeah. We are back. Live and all. 
We last stopped on floor 15. I wanted to keep going. But I think I'm just going to save the rest for stream. <sighs> I'm too tilted to actually finish it in this video. Like, oh my god. I just want to end it here. Also, if you guys are doing this, make sure to get gears first. The gears are definitely going to help you out a lot. And then the six star thing can wait since you can make that gear. Uh, this is further in the game. That's why I would recommend getting gear first for this. You can easily make these. These you got to grind for. Pretty much. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Nothing else to really go over, to be honest. I think I went over everything. Unless my last video, you know, screwed me over. Just saying. <laughs> just, just saying. A whole bunch of pain and sorrow on the inside right now. Can you tell why? Yeah, I'm sure you could tell why. <laughs> ah, I didn't even get lucky. It just gave me like a big fuck you, dude. Come on, game. Ease my suffering. You kind of screwed me over. You owe me, game. You owe me. Alright. Anywho, what's the community? I never really clicked on this. Oh, is this just uh, the news spots? Yeah, just the news spots. Yeah, they actually give you the maintenance and stuff. I know where to go now. But yeah, a few minor changes. Nothing like extremely all that interesting. Overall, the game is doing better now. A little bit. They're slowly fixing most of the issues that most players are having where the game crashes and stuff like that. But overall, they're working on things. So it'll probably get better. Probably. Not really sure. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. I, I need to go cool off. So I, I wish I could make like a longer video, but after all that, that, that kind of ruined my mood. But I wanted to give you guys at least a follow-up video from the gameplay video. I'll upload this now and then, but not like extremely often. I'll probably play it now and then on stream, on my Twitch stream. But yeah, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, before I end off, actually, um, a little bit of something you should know. Before I said it was like a Chaos Chronicle, it does have like a lot of Dragon Blaze in it too. Because you can go in here and select what character you want to create. Dragon Blaze does this as well, but you can pretty much create any character you want. I don't know why it's so hard to go over this guy. But yeah, if you want to create him, you can, but you have to have two superior characters in order to make this character. So Dragon Blaze does something similar to that, but just not exactly like this. To get a superior character, you would have to enhance further on beyond this. But once your six star is max, it can only take other six stars. So yeah, it's going to start costing like a lot of gold. So get ready to spend like every single drop that you have. Enjoy. <laughs> but yeah, it also has that system that is pretty similar to Dragon Blaze and Chaos Chronicle. I don't know if I went over that, but just making sure I do. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Today, peace out. It's gonna get better real soon Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose